autophagy, autophagy, autophagy. Yes, you heard correctly, autophagy. Sounds like cannibalism, but please stay put and don't be scared. Hi, my name is Caroline Mauvezin and I'm a senior researcher at ED Bale in the Laboratory of Cancer Metabolism. I'm a cell biologist dedicated to microscopy, which allows me to see what's happening within one cell. With a little bit of imagination, we could say that a cell is organized like a city. The city hall would be the nucleus, where our DNA, our genetic information, is kept. The streets or the roads would be the cytoskeleton, where vehicles or vesicles, organelles of the cells, would travel and transmit the message to the rest of the components of the cell. The plant for energy production would be the mitochondria. The cell has also a housekeeper to keep it neat. I think that everybody will agree with me that having a clean house, or we always feel more comfortable. Well, it's the same with the cell and the trash truck are the autophagic vesicles. All right, let's talk about autophagy. Recently, in 2016, Professor Yoshinori won the Nobel Prize for his uh, work on autophagy. It's one of the reasons why autophagy is currently a pretty famous field of research. It became so famous that in Japan, the country of Professor Yoshinori, they created a manga that got superpower when he was starving. What? You get superpower when you stop eating? Well, the reason is that autophagy is activated when the cell is stressed or under nutrient starvation. Once autophagy is activated, the garbage trucks or the autophagic vesicles are formed and they will detect the garbage that need to be degraded. They will engulf them and send them to the recycled plant that are the lysosomes in the cell. Lysosomes contain a cocktail of enzymes that can degrade almost any type of biological material. Once degraded, cell components are reused by the cell to maintain the homeostasis or unhealthy state. As you can imagine, this process has to be highly controlled. Do you remember the images of Naples in 2008 during the waste management crisis? This was chaotic. Well, it's the same with the cell. If autophagy is inhibited, garbage just pile up. Uh, if autophagy is overactivated, it can activate cell death. That makes autophagy at the balance of life and death, the yin yang of the cell. Autophagy is a conserved process. It's present in all eukaryotes, from yeast, where it was discovered, to humans. Being such a central and highly conserved pathway, you can imagine that perturbation of autophagy will have disastrous consequences. For example, defective autophagy has been described in many different pathologies, such as neurodegeneration diseases, cardiovascular, even metabolic diseases like diabetes. However, effective autophagy protects against aging. Obviously, autophagy plays a key role in cancer, but in cancer, the story is much more complex, as in this situation, the cell has been hacked. Almost all the drugs currently used for cancer treatment affect the autophagic pathway. And in most of the cases, it activates it. So what do you think? Is it good or bad? Well, the answer is very complicated. As I previously told you, that overactivation of autophagy can lead to cell death, so we kill the tumor cells. Yay! And there is a but. An active autophagy can help the hacked cell to survive in a stress condition and sustain high proliferation rates. So one of the big questions in the field is when is it better to activate or inhibit autophagy to help patient with cancer. We need to be smarter than the hackers and the combination of therapeutic is the future. <laughs>